Hi friends, welcome back to our series of sessions on problem statements in software to get prepared for Smart India Hackathon 2022. Today's topic is on clean and green energy. In this domain, let's identify some of the problem statements as defined by some of the sponsoring agencies organized by Government of India as a Smart India Hackathon 2022 as a part of 25 years of Indian independence celebrated as Ajadika Amrit Mahotsav. Let's get ready. Let's get to our first problem statement is on suggest a solution to help municipal bodies maximize solid waste collection with their given resources. This is sponsored by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs with a code of BV8085. We have seen the second largest populated country in the world, India faces various hindrances to its development. Solid waste management is of critical concern and needs attention. Whereas many developed countries are searching for ready-made sustainable waste management solutions. The solid waste have become a major consequence of development, modernization and urbanization. Solid waste includes useless, unwanted, discharged materials that is not liquid or gas. The solid waste affects the natural environment to a great extent and poses a serious threat, serious threat as these materials remain in one particular place or a relatively longer period of time unless removed, burned or washed away. In this respect, solid waste has been identified as significant matter for sustainable development. Growth in population and change in lifestyle has led to an increase in solid waste generation. Both the residual, residential and commercial waste are in solid or in semi-solid form. Safe and cost-effective solid waste management is a great challenge for the modern society. It is estimated that 40% of the waste remains uncollected. This project or this problem statement aims for a technical solution for the management of solid waste by providing visibility on city sanitation, route planning for garbage collection, resource optimization, air quality measurements, visibility of bins in order to maximize the waste collection. And all these can be brought out in a software application form. That's the first problem statement. Then the second problem statement is, you have to suggest an improved way of tackling the issue of creating a consistent supply chain to augment the use of biofuels. This is sponsored by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs with the code BV808. We have seen the journey of electron, electrical vehicles started a long time ago. During the first half of the 19th century, the exploration of electrical automobiles started by several researchers of the United States, Netherlands, and Hungary. The researches led to the invention of the first electrical vehicle, practical prototype by Robert Anderson. India has been a major importer of crude oil. In the year 2019-20 alone, the import bill was around 100 billion US dollars, which is a huge strain on the country's exchequer. One possible solution to this is the augmented use of alternative fuels. Since the production of biofuels is an abundance in India and it requires minimal infrastructure changes for large scale adoption, it can serve as much easier solution to the issue. But the creation of supply chain for regular use of biofuels is still in a nascent stage. Emphasizing on electric mobility suggests a proper way for the creation of supply chain for the consistent use of biofuels. Then the third problem is on creating a recycling app, which is sponsored by Ministry of Mines with the SS861. Mine resources, as you know, should be improved through recycling only. Even though we have the resources to make it happen, the chain is breaking owing to a lack of communication. The Earth's ability to deliver raw materials in the long run or meet global demand in the short term is being strained by the ever-increasing demand for raw materials and energy. We must use our resources sparingly and in an environmentally sustainable manner so that natural resources are available for future generations. With Make in India, Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan and other initiatives by the government of India, manufacturing has emerged as one of India's fastest growing sectors with one crucial consequence being an increasing in metal demand. As a result, Decoupling economic growth from resource consumption has become a necessity for the environment. 
to fulfill the rising demand for metals it is critical to identify new sources of raw materials and one of the most important sources of raw materials is recycling thus recycling is now an important part of the supply chain for both ferrous and non ferrous metals that's the problem uh, for designing a recycling app the fourth problem statement is on tracking the supply of chain supply chain and reverse logistics of products to reduce environmental impact this is sponsored by international council for circular economy with the problem statement number sg862 applying the circular economy principles properly can dramatically reshape the economics of plastics in the global economy while helping the environment the inefficient cultivation of natural fibers growing waste water pollution from wet processing labor issues in manufacturing and waste creation in the form of packaging fabric and microplastics are some of the major challenges of the textile industry with raw materials production centers and consumers spread across the world there is negative environmental and social impact increasing due to increasing manufacturing there is an increase in waste generation with labor issues this increase in waste from manufacturing and industries is creating a negative impact on the environment as well as social well being thus creating an impact on global economy we are looking for a solution that can help track the supply chain and reverse logistics of products and calculate its negative environmental and social impact across the value chain that would be a handy to educate consumer on the environmental impact of product they are buying then the fifth problem statement is on solution to establish a zero waste society with proper waste disposal management which is again sponsored by international council for circular economy with code sg863 as we all have seen our mass production and mass disposal model is linear meaning that waste is mainly lost and not reused this is an environmental issue which as it increases pollution but also an economic loss as waste materials are not used reused waste which are not reused generally result in getting dumped and cause pollution in various different ways these ways can be picked up and reused to avoid the reduction of resources during mass production there is a difference in understanding the mass production and mass disposal of materials where the mass produced materials have a track of how much they produce but when it comes to disposal then we lose track of the quantity we dispose and since instead of disposing it it can be reused in various methods and you could develop a and we would like to develop the circular economy and find a solution to ensure our production models are in a closed loop based on reuse recycle repair and the reduction of resources rather than their disposal you can submit your idea digital or technical solution to help in creating your vision of a zero waste society some issues which could be tackled under this category include waste reduction conversion of waste materials into valuables like upcycling upcycling of waste use of industrial waste ensuring the longevity of equipment in terms of repair and reuse then the sixth problem statement is on tracking reducing and reusing of plastic waste also sponsored by international council for circular economy problem statement number sg864 applying the angle circular economy principles properly can dramatically reshape the economics of plastics in the global economy while helping the environment recycling plastics has a great potential because there is a material that can be recycled many times while retaining its value and functional properties it means that we need a, to increase the collection of plastic waste and india's recycling capacity innovation is the key and it needs to stimulate more methods of increasing recycling and recyclability of plastic containing products that further improve product design there is great potential for economic gain but for this to happen we need multiple players across businesses and research communities to come together to reconceive key material flows and manufacturing processes all this needs to be supported by the proper policies and by sufficient investment there is a requirement of reshaping the economics of plastic which could help the environment and also the global economy plastic is the only material which can be recycled multiple number of times and still hold an economic value in the market also recycling plastic can reduce environmental stress thus reducing pollution this methodology show greater potential in economic use 
reduce environmental stress, thus reducing pollution. This met methodology shows the greater potential in economic rise. We need a solution that highlights the bulk waste generators of the plastic waste and propose solutions and solution providers in the nearby areas, which would help to effectively and efficiently tackle the issue of plastic pollution in our land, sea, and boost immediate action at national and local level in India and beyond. Using food waste as consumable organic resource is the seventh problem statement. This is again sponsored by International Council for Circular Economy, SG866. In Southeast Asia, food waste is discharged daily from factories, restaurants, and supermarkets, etc. This waste has potential to be reused as an organic resource, providing it can be transformed with proper technology. Collection of the food waste from such areas and categorizing them to what they can be used into a major task for this problem statement. It is found that there is discharge of food waste daily from various types of places, restaurants, factories, supermarkets, etc. Most of this food waste are either dumped or destroyed by some means. We want this food waste to be reused in such a manner that it can be helpful to the society. Food waste reusability can highly boost the economical sector of the country. We are looking for ideas in this hackathon to reuse food waste as a consumable organic resource or ideas on digital management for effective use of waste material for the food and beverage industry. Example, factory, restaurant, supermarket, warehouse, building and so on, and its supply chain. Some issues which could be tackled under this category include biogas power generation, compost, transforming food waste into animal feed, etc. So that's about the seventh problem statement, which is using the food waste as consumable organic resource. Then the eighth problem is on tracking of food waste for productive use, again, sponsored by International Council for Circular Economy. The principles of the circular economy on the farming system ensure support nutrients are returned to the soil through anaerobic process or composting, which softens the exploitation of land and natural ecosystem. In this way, as waste is returned to the soil, besides having fewer residues to deal with, the soil gets healthier and more resilient, allowing a greater balance in the ecosystem that surrounds it. As well, since soil degradation costs an estimated 40 billion US dollars annually worldwide and has hidden costs such as the increase of fertilizer use, loss of biodiversity, and loss of unique landscapes, a circular economy could prove to be really useful for both the soils and the economy. The circular economy model in food systems has the potential to decrease 80% of the use of artificial fertilizer and therefore contributing to the natural balance of soils, according to a study. Most of the waste food that's being generated is dumped in landfills. This way, we are losing the opportunity to use the food waste in more better things, such as creating organic fertilizers or biogas. And stacking this food waste can help in bringing out more productivity of the waste that's being generated. Tracking food waste can help divert it from the entering the landfill towards more productive usage. We need you to use a modern generation of AI or machine learning based techniques to track out the amount of food waste and categorize them on how and which sectors we can use and waste for more productive areas. And the ninth problem statement is on identification of reduction in carbon footprint using new technologies sponsored by Ministry of Rural Development with SH 1019 code. National Rural Infrastructural Development Agency, NRIDA, has sanctioned many roads using various technologies, new materials, which reduce not only the cost of the construction, but they reduce the use of costlier aggregates, fuel consumption for transportation of materials from quarries, etc. The Prime Minister Gramin Sadak Yojana roads constructed with various new technologies have saved a lot of aggregates or natural resources. The methodology for calculation of quantity of aggregate saved, savings in transport, fuel consumption, quantum of carbon dioxide emission and CHGs are calculated may be developed you as a part of the problem statement using the latest information technology tools. In the 10th and last problem statement in this segment, is the development of 
business models for collection and utilization of single use plastics and various other industrial waste which is sponsored by the ministry of msme micro small and medium enterprises the code rk1122 we have seen industrial waste is the waste produced by industrial activity which includes any material that is useless during a manufacturing process it is hazardous to human health and environment we are looking for a software solution which would help in development of business models for collection and utilization of single use plastics and various other industrial waste by using items like ceramics bamboo wood jute cloth tetra packs etc it should lead to utilizing the industrial waste at appropriate place generate some revenue or business model and cause less harm to environment so that's all the 10 problem statements for today's session we hope you have enjoyed all this keep working on that and you will have a wonderful opportunity to participate in the startup india hackathon 2022 so please get up with the problem solutions all the very best thank you very much